Harris and Damian and Garrett. I guess what did they do to, to earn that off? Um, you know, obviously Garrett's done a good job and get on the field a lot more and being a black shirt's about more than just performing on Saturday and I think Coach Frost and the staff felt like those guys were deserving. They do things the right way on the practice field, off the field, on game day, uh, taking over a little bit of a leadership role so those guys were deserving of one. So to be clear, who, who got the black shirt? Uh, Damian Jackson and Garrett Nelson. What was their reaction to that? I mean, it's kind of kind of uh, you know, I don't know, they were in their locker, so I didn't really get to see what their reaction was, but you know, I think they were pretty happy when they came out of the practice field. Obviously, all of Damian's leadership qualities are well known for Garrett being you know, a young guy. Is that surprising that he was able to kind of elevate to, to that platform? Yeah, I think everybody just sees the way that he goes about his business. Everybody sees the way that he practices, um, the way he works. And, you know, obviously we don't want a ton of, you know, leaders by example because that's not really a thing. You know, you're, that's just doing things the right way. But he does everything the right way. And he's going to be, you know, keep elevating himself into a leadership role. What are the added challenges as a defense when you're going against a team like Wisconsin that's number one in the country in time of possession? How does, how does that factor into what you guys do? Yeah, I mean, they, they do a great job, uh, you know, scheming their, their offense for what they have. They, you know, they have really big all linemen. They got uh, good tight ends and fullbacks, and they got some good receivers in the perimeter. Uh, so they make you earn everything. They earn everything. They don't do anything stupid with the football. Um, I think they do a tremendous job of, of coaching that group up. And then obviously they got a, you know, first round draft pick running back. So, uh, you know, stopping the run is of utmost importance right now. I guess that, is there any is there any extra pressure for every single guy to do their job because of how well can they do what they do? You know, I, th I, I think, you know, when Bill Belichick came out and talked about do your job, right, some people kind of bought in, other people kind of laughed, and, ah, yeah, everybody do your job. That's what it is. Everybody do your job. If everybody did their job every play on, on defense, we probably win three more games. You know, and I'm sure it's the same way on offense and special teams. But everybody needs to do their job every play. And in this type of game, everybody needs to play in their gap. Everybody needs to execute. Or, or that guy gets a crack this big and she's over. So everybody's got to do their job every play. It's not just Wisconsin. It's every single game. And we've seen that, you know, come to fruition in, in three football games so far. Um, but obviously this week it's it's critical. How does their running back, Johnson Taylor, compare with some of the running backs you guys have seen so far? Uh, I mean, I think there's, you know, some different types of guys in, in the Big Ten, but um, he's really, really good. I mean, he's he's physical. Uh, he's a little different. You know, he's he's not going to do a bunch of dancing. He's going to he's going to get himself cut. He's going to be patient with the with the blocking scheme. He's going to find the hole, and then he's going to run you over in the open field if you're if you're not ready to make a big boy tackle. The quarterback, Colton, uh, I'm just passing game in general. Obviously, a lot of attention goes to the run game, but what kind of challenges does that uh, do present through the air? Yeah, I think you know, any time that you have a running back and a run scheme like they have, you know, guys start creeping up in the box. Guys start getting their eyes a little uh, miscued because everybody's so worried about stopping the run, and that opens up the pass game a little bit. Obviously, Cone's done a really good job, um, you know, with the passing scheme that they have. He's he's made some good decisions. Um, and I, I he's thrown a couple picks, but for the most part, he's made good decisions. Checked the ball down when it's supposed to be checked down. He's made some big throws when he's had to. Uh, but I think he he's done a good job, and he's improved every game. How much were you able to get out by week? Yeah, um, with us having two bye weeks, it seemed like we weren't out that much, but we were because we had to split the days. Uh, you only get X amount of days. It's not like if just because you're in a bye week, you get to be out. It's only, it's X amount of days for the NCAA. So um, I was able to be out, you know, a good a good amount, as was our whole staff. You guys put out some junior college offers on the way too. Can you maybe just describe, especially in your son's role, what you're looking for when you're offering? Junior college defender, and, and, and what we're looking for guys that can help us right now. So we, we're not recruiting junior college guys uh, that sit on the bench for a year or two years and then wait their turn. We want guys that can help us right now if we're, if we're going to take some junior college guys. And obviously, you got to put out a few more offers than what you can take, just because everybody wants those guys and they're going to have five to twenty options. So um, you got to put out a few more. But.
but we want guys that can help us immediately can get in here hopefully in December some of those guys are out in May but hopefully get in here in December help us in spring ball and be ready to go in the fall all my kind of those defensive ends pass rusher types that yeah yeah we've, we've got we've got some of those guys we've got some is some inside linebackers some some defensive backs some D linemen we've got a little bit of everything right now we're looking for um, guys that can come in and make an impact on the program I know we ask about this every week but with only being three or four games left in the season is there more guys available to you on the defense side of the ball right here you know, freshman yeah I think uh, just about a good percentage of them are available for three if not two or one games right now defensive line in particular with Jakeem Green Ty Robinson yep. are those guys that you see maybe making more of an impact here in the district? yeah and I think uh, right now you know Jakeem and uh, Ty and Casey Rogers and those guys are taking a lot of reps with the ones and twos and we've got to kind of figure out at the end of the week who who can function the best who perform the best and who's ready to play in a game like this what's been the thought process is in playing them down the home stretch has it been kind of physically getting them ready or is it more of a mental thing well it, it, it's it's kind of a little bit of both and also you know you'd like to play them in some games where you're up by a whole bunch and we didn't have a whole bunch of those to play um, get them a little experience and then get them some some you know reps down the home stretch but also with the way we were so top heavy in the in the one and one deep and one and a half deep if there were some injuries we had to save some of those guys just to make sure that we were you know kind of CYA at the end of the year but I think those guys are coming along pretty good. Uh, good. Yes. Thanks. Thanks.